I'm Lori. I'm one of the physiotherapists from Proactive Pelvic Health. This little video is just a bit of a review about the male anatomy. Um, of course, men will be aware of the testicles on the outside and the scrotal sac. Just in behind the testicle is something called the epididymis, and it's softer. You can still feel it. The cord comes up from behind, and that's the spermatic cord with its duct. The epididymis actually allows, it collects the, the tiny immature sperm from the testes, allows them to mature for two and a half months, and then in the final phases stores them for just a couple of days before they're brought out through the spermatic cord. And it actually comes up and across the groin crease, and then goes into the abdomen, and in way underneath the bladder. And just underneath the bladder, and you can see right in the front here is actually that pelvic bone, the pubic bone, right at the front of the pelvis. The bladder sits lower than you think. And in underneath it is that chestnut shaped and, and chestnut sized prostate gland. And that's where the different fluids from seminal vesicles, the sperm from the vas deferens, and then the fluid from the prostate itself all combine to form semen. The prostate at the top of it, just as it sits underneath the bladder, has a little valve. And that valve keeps the semen from being uh, forced retrograde, so called, backwards up into the bladder. So you're either urinating or you're ejaculating, but it doesn't go both ways. Behind the bladder sits the rectum, the back passage, familiar to all of us. Um, but supported by the muscular, the muscular wall on the bottom, of the, the floor of the pelvis. So I hope that's a little bit of review, perhaps from your high school health class. Um, just a reminder of where things are and how they work.